Hello students, in this session we are going to learn the new topic in fluorescence. It is an important topic in the unit of morphology of flowering plants. Ok, you all know the flower is the modified, uh, modified shoot that helps in reproduction. The modified shoot that helps in reproduction is known as flower. Here, the arrangement of flowers shows unique in flowering plants. Here, the arrangement of flowers on peduncle is known as inflorescence. Peduncle defined as the axis which bears flowers. The axis which bears flowers is known as peduncle. Inflorescence is of mainly two types. There are two types of inflorescence found in flowering plants. First one, racemos. In second one, cymos. Okay. In raceme inflorescence, the growth of peduncle is unlimited. The peduncle shows continuous growth. The peduncle do not terminate into flower. We are discussing the important features of racemos inflorescence. In raceme in racemos inflorescence, the growth of peduncle or you can say inflorescence axis is unlimited. It shows continuous growth. The tip does not bear any flower. Second one, flowers arranged in acropetal manner. Acropetal manner means the basal part shows older flowers, the apical part shows younger flowers. That means the flowers formation starts from from base to affix, this kind of arrangement is known as acropetal manner. So it is the important features of racemose inflorescence. Next, cymose. In cymose, the growth of peduncle is limited, which terminates into flower. The growth of peduncle is limited; it terminates into flower. The arrangement of flower, uh, the flowers arranged in basi petal manner means the, the peduncle, old flower found at tip of the peduncle whereas younger flower present at basal part of the peduncle. So the formation of flower starts from epic, epical region to basal region. This mode of, this mode of arrangement of flowers is known as basic fetal. So, now we are going to discuss the racemose kind of inflorescence in detail. Racemose inflorescences are of six types. They are named as raceme, carimb, umbel, spike, spadix, head inflorescence. So let us discuss one by one in detail manner. First kind is raceme. In raceme, in this, in this case, the peduncle bears, the peduncle bears bracteate, pedicillate flowers which are arranged in acropetal manner. It is the characters of racine inflorescence found in Mangifera indica crotalaria. Okay. The second one is carimb. Carimb, the important unique feature of carimb is the flowers arised nodes of basal part shows long pedicel, long pedicel, whereas the flowers arised from uh, apical part of the peduncle shows short pedicels. As a result, all flowers brought into same level. So that's why it is called carimb. So carimb. The popular found in Casia auriculata, that is Tangeru in Telugu, the local name, and cauliflower. So cauliflower case is the popular examples for carimb. The third one is umbel. In umbel inflorescence, flowers arise in the form of bunch from tip of the peduncle. Tip of the peduncle. All flowers are bracteate and pedicellate. The one more important character is the bracts of all flowers fuse to form a circular structure. These circular structures popularly known as 
Involucre of bracts. Involucre of bract is the unique character of the umbilical inflorescence found in allium species and coriandrum. Next, fourth one, spike. Here, resin and spike shows almost all same similar characters. The important difference is in spike, flowers are sessile. The flowers do not show any kind of stars. So, in spike, sessile flowers arranged in acropetal manner, all flowers are bracteate. The spike is the characteristic influence of Poiesi family. All cereal yielding, all grain yielding plants are belongs to Poiesi family. So the popular examples are Akirantha Saspera, Uttarene, Oriza Sativa and Paddy. Now fifth one is Spadix. Spadix the, this kind of resimos inflorescence found in Colocasia and Cocos Musifera, Musa Paradisica, Chamagata, Alage Arati, Alage Cobberlo, Manakan Piston to the In Spadix, in Spadix, the pedinkly uh, little bit is little bit uh, thick, it shows thickness or little bit fleshy. So the uh, fleshy thick pedinkle produce or bears unisexual unisexual flowers the all flowers are sessile in spadix the parental bears sessile bracteate unisexual flowers arranged on the fleshy thick parenchyme one more character is one bract modified modified a boat like structure which encloses entire inflorescence so this structure is known as Spathe. The spathe is the identification character of spadix inflorescence. Spathe is a modified bract that uh, appears as both uh, encloses or uh, entire inflorescence. It gives protection. Next, sixth one is head inflorescence. The most advanced kind of it is considered as most advanced inflorescence in edible inflorescence. The pedunculus is highly condensed, it appears as uh, a flattened shape. So, the head inflorescence possesses bears unisexual and bisexual sessile flowers arranged on this condensed pedunculus. In head inflorescence, the flowers are so, uh, so many uh, tiny flowers arranged on pedunculus. These tiny flowers called florets. Florets. Okay. So head in process found in Tridas, Procumens, Gadde Chamante, Helianthus and your sunflower. So head in the most advanced type and characteristic feature of Asteraceae family. With this, we completed uh, complete details of racemose types of inflorescences.